In this video, you will learn how to place reinforcement in a concrete column. First, I will demonstrate the placement of the perimeter stirrup in the concrete column using the expand to host placement method. Using this method, I've selected the appropriate placement plane and orientation. In the properties palette, I can choose the riba diameter and in the riba shape library, I can find the suitable shape of the bar for my stirrups. Before placing the stirrup, I can define the rebar set by choosing the maximum spacing layout method and setting the spacing between stirrups to 200 mm. When I hover over the element, you'll notice the stirrup expanding to the boundaries of the column. Now, I can press the spacebar to rotate the stirrup and click to place it. To place the longitudinal bars, I must adjust the rebar orientation, size, shape and layout. Now I can place four rebar sets, one on each side of the column. To create the inner stirrups, I can duplicate the existing stirrup and adjust the length of the segments. The segment lengths can be adjusted either by using handlers or by providing the exact segment length. Then I can use the rotation feature with the copy option check to copy and place it in the perpendicular direction. Now I need to remove the corner bars from two of the sets to ensure they aren't counted twice in the schedule. I can easily do this by selecting the set and then unchecking the checkboxes for the first and last rebar. The final step is to adjust the longitudinal bars so they overlap with the bars in the column on the next level. I can achieve this by using the Edit Constraints option. I am selecting the top handle and clicking on the top face of the floor to set the constraint target. This will be the reference point from which the handle's offset will be measured. And there you have it, the column reinforcement is ready. Thank you for watching and happy reinforcement modeling.